Hi everybody, this is Phil Gavant and this lesson is on representing functions as graphs. Let's begin. Alright, so recall a function is when your x's are not repeating. Your y's can repeat, but your x's can't repeat. Um, uh, so graph this function, y equals 2x minus 3 with the domain negative 1, uh, 0, 1, and 2. So we make a t-chart and we plug in those domain values right here. And then I'm going to plug in these values into this. So I'm going to plug in negative 1 right there. 2 times negative 1 is, is negative 2. And then negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. I'm going to plug in 0 next. So 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Plug in 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Finally, 4 minus 3 is 1. So we're going to graph those. There's a xy coordinate plane, and I'm going to number them by 1s, you guys. They look like they're by 2s, but actually the 1s are in there. They're just to, to save some space right there so it doesn't get too crowded with numbers. I just label them every other one. Okay, so here's the first one, negative 1, negative 5, okay? And then here's 0, negative 3. Here's 1, negative 1. Here's 2, uh, 1, okay? All right, so um, uh, we're going to go now to what's called the vertical line test. The vertical line test tells you if it's a function or not, if they give you the graph, you guys. So if the vertical line intersects your graph in more than one spot, then it is not a function. Okay, so here's a vertical line right here. If I did, uh, uh, the, you can see the, here are the ROTC groups outside to go on. If I did this vertical line and just slid this guy over, let's see, I'll grab it up here and slid it across, does it intersect this graph in more than one spot? Right there, it intersects that bottom one in one spot. There's one spot, one spot, one spot. So it doesn't intersect this graph in more than one spot. So yes, it is a function, okay? You just slide it right across. And so if it does not intersect it more than one spot, it is a function. So determine whether the graph represents the function, okay? So here's this one right here. I have a vertical line right here to go slide it through. Does it intersect this graph in more than one spot? One right there. One, one, one. So no, it doesn't intersect it in more than one spot. So if it doesn't, then yes, it is a function. Okay? How about this one? Okay? Here's this graph right here. Going to slide that guy through. Oops, not that. Going to slide this line through. Okay, it intersects it in one spot there, one spot there. Uh-oh, right there. It intersects it in two spots. So when it intersects it in more than one spot, then we say, no, it is not a function. Okay, so it is not a function. It's a relation. It's just not a function. All right? Okay, don't, you don't have to write this one down for my students. So, but here's this one right here. Okay, if I did this vertical line going right through here, it looks like it might not be. There's a lot of points there. One spot right there. One spot. One spot. One spot. You know what? It's looking like it might be a function. Yeah, it only intersects these guys in more than in just one spot, not two or more. So, so yes, this is a function. Okay. All right. So write a rule for this function and identify the range and domain. So here's the picture right here. Okay. So when you have that, first I want you to do is is make a t chart. Okay. So your t chart, your x y t chart, and we're going to list all these ordered pairs. I'm going to list this one. Can you see that this ordered pair has uh, the coordinates zero, negative one? This one, I go over to the right, 1 and up 0. So this one would be 1, 0. This point right here is to the right, 2 and up 1. So that would be 2, 1 and so on. So here we go. So then list them as ordered pairs. So there's that one, neg or 0, negative 1. Then the next one would be 1, 0. The next one would be 2, 1. The next one would be 3, 2. And then finally, 4, 3. Okay, and then what you want to do is look at the relationship between x and y. Can you see that, that y is 1 less than x right here? How about this one? Is, is, is 0 1 less than 1? Yeah. Is 1 1 less than 2? Yes. 2 is 1 less than 3, and 3 is 1 less than 4. So it's always 1 less than that, you guys. So, so um, uh, your, your, your rule is y equals x minus 1. Okay, and then it also said up here in the directions, don't forget, it said to identify the range and domain, okay? These guys are my domains. Remember, your x values are your domains. These guys are my range, my y values. So when I list them, sorry, that little box is in the way, you guys. Your domain is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and your range are these numbers, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3.